in a historic building that has been the longtime home of one of the world's finest orchestras, the doors remain locked. People come from nearby, they come from around the world to hear concerts here. Uh, we want to put the music back into that building. Now into their second month on strike, the musicians of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra have dug in against what they see as an unnecessary attempt by management to rein in their benefits. The Chicago Symphony Orchestra is actually a very incredibly financially healthy organization, which is why it doesn't make sense for them to be crying poor. The plan that they have proposed will actually cost the association more than the plan that we currently have, which is what we prefer to stick with. The central issue in the standoff is management's attempt to restructure the musician's pension benefit, specifically to change from a defined benefit plan to a defined contribution plan. CSO Association Board Chair Helen Zell and President Jeff Alexander have been adamant that the change is necessary for ongoing fiscal sustainability. You know, it's become a particularly critical component right now of our operations because the cost of funding the defined benefit pension plan has grown dramatically over the, over the years. Uh, the amount of money we're having to put in the fund now is about uh, five times more than it was just three or four years ago. For the musicians and their supporters, the issue goes far beyond financial considerations. For over 100 years, the CSO has earned an exalted position as one of the leading orchestras in the world. Their list of accolades includes 62 Grammy Awards, 61 international tours to 29 countries on five continents, and countless world and U.S. premieres. They are one of Chicago's iconic institutions. It carries the name of Chicago worldwide. It's something that everyone knows worldwide. I think it's important to have an orchestra like the CSO um, in, in a city like Chicago because it's a cultural experience that our community needs. Supporters fear that as the strike drags on, musicians may be forced to take jobs with other orchestras, which could be a huge blow to both the quality and the reputation of the CSO. Frustrations are mounting on all sides. The musicians are the only asset. Without the musicians, there is no CSO. And I'm not sure that the current management of the board and of the symphony really understand that. It's our responsibility to supply them with a good retirement, and the plan we've offered will do that. Well, we're certainly hopeful that we'll be able to conclude negotiations soon and be able to retain all of the wonderful members of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. And as both sides wait for the bell to ring, it has been anything but quiet at Orchestra Hall. From Chicago, Valerie Kennedy reporting.